Good morning. It is Tuesday, December 15th, 2020, halfway through December, just 10 days till Christmas. Today is Bed Talk 191. And today I want to talk about, you got it, trust. I was on a podcast being interviewed today and we started talking about trust and we had a long conversation about trust and I'm going to keep it brief for the moment. And here's the part that I shared. Trust is one of those things that is so vital in our relationships and certainly in our organizations and teams. But it's this topic that almost is never talked about because we want to assume, because it feels good to assume that we're good with trust. When the truth is, and I believe this deeply, the issues we have in our organizations are almost always trust issues. And if we solve the symptoms, but we don't get to the cause, which is trust, guess what? We won't really solve the problem because we never got to the heart of the matter, which is trust. And it's so confusing because we love saying we trust each other. And in some ways, we trust everyone a little bit. But let me give you a really quick example of one thing to look at in differentiating trust. Right now, I want you to think about the person in the world that you trust more than anything. You got their name, maybe their face in mind. Now, I want you to imagine whether if you have children or whether it's your children or your, some other dear friend of yours needs heart surgery. Is that person that you imagine you trust the most, would you trust them to perform the heart surgery? Now, if a rare one of you, actually your most trusted person is a heart surgeon, maybe. But my guess is none of you thought about a heart surgeon and you would not trust that person to perform heart surgery because you trust them, but you don't trust their skills and experience. In the workplace, it's often the opposite. When we say we trust someone, it means basically one of two things, maybe both. We trust that they have some skills and experience, that they know some things, they can perform some things to some degree. And secondly, we trust they won't do something really overt, like they're not going to make a blatant lie or steal money from my wallet or my purse. But other than those two things, there's a whole wide range of trust is about trusting the person. Do they, you trust that they have your back? Do you trust their word? Do you trust their actions? Do you trust them based upon their actions aligning with their words? Do you trust them enough to receive very openly their feedback? Do you trust them enough to give them open and honest feedback? Do you trust that they have your back and the rest of the team's back? Those are the trust questions that matter the most. And we'll talk another time about the ways we break trust and build trust. But for today, I want, for today, I want you to think about what is trust? Be careful when you throw that word around and check in. Are you really willing to have that conversation? Because it's important when the trust isn't there. Because so much that's going on in our relationships at home and in, at work are driven by trust issues. Obviously, a lack of trust. And if we're not willing to talk about them and deal with them, nothing's going to change. So that's the trust message for today in Bed Talk 191. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. And by all means, stay connected.